Hi, welcome to the part 3 of this video series. We are looking at real certification questions for AZ400. Please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to many more such contents. This channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications. Let's jump into the questions. For questions 1 to 8, please refer parts 1 and 2 of this video series. Let's look at question 9. Understand the story first. So you have an Azure app service which is hosting your web application. And where does the data get stored? In Azure SQL database. And we need to generate alerts if there are there are 10,000 such connections to the database. Okay. Then you should get an alert. Okay. And we should minimize the dev effort. What option should we select in the diagnostic setting of the database? See, for me, the answer is send to log analytics. See, out of these options, log analytics is most appropriate. What it does is log analytics, it will constantly uh, save what is happening, who is connecting to the database, what sort of queries are being run, what is the load on the database. Constantly, it gets tracked. Stream to event hub is like, if, if it is a real time based application and if you have to stream this data further so in real time i have not seen any usage of a database we use kafka uh, and that stream data is stored in a database but from a database streaming i have not seen hence b is wrong for me option c it suggests you archive to a storage account see if i send archives of this data to the storage account that will not help me with uh, this stuff you know sending alerts and i i will have to take it to archive and then run some program azure functions and then maybe i can send alerts but if i have a straight mechanism to use log analytics if i can go to point a to point b straight so why will i take different complicated routes hence c is wrong for me see your documentation suggests log analytics is a tool where you can edit and run log queries from data collected by azure monitor logs and interactively analyze the results log analytics primarily is used for these things so this is the final answer let's look at question 10 so this is an interesting question now if we apply the kiss principle that is keep it simple and stupid uh, if you read the story in a nutshell what you have to do is you want to identify a type of trigger that is what we have to do and this trigger will be used to invoke logic app okay so this scenario basically you have to inform the customer service department if your application insight is having problem with availability or uptime see c request trigger you use if you are working i'm sorry i'm talking about b if you are working with HTTP trigger, then uh, it has to be a use case related to serverless API. You can invoke functions using HTTP trigger in a serverless API uh, use case. See, if I see this documentation, I could not uh, link an API connection trigger this one i could not see this so you can comment if you are aware of it and you have links to that basically if i see this documentation i can see four types of inbuilt triggers and actions these are inbuilt triggers okay and our use case says that if the insights availability goes down if so keeping that in mind request seems apt because it says that this trigger uh, makes your workflow callable it will not 
keep checking or polling on a schedule if you want to keep checking on a schedule then you use this one schedule stuff so web hook trigger primarily you know if there is a workflow where you wait for a previous workflow to finish then you can use this but here we have to send alerts or notifications if the insights availability is below par so this is the final answer i'll move forward if you have a different opinion then please uh, put in your comments let's look at question 11 so this is the question so let us focus on the core content here you have an app 1 so which is inside acl 1 this is a container okay so there is a basically this is the app the green box is the container and the question says is that you we should be able to restart the container if this app 1 stops responding that means app 1 is inside this container so the container should be able to restart if this blue box is not responding so these are the different options so the first two options are linked to yaml and the second two options are linked to network watcher now if you see this this is not a network watcher use case you use network watcher when you have to monitor the azure virtual network if you have to monitor that so we will apply the kiss principle which is keep it simple and stupid and eliminate c and d now the answer has to be between a and b let's understand what is liveness probe see container applications like this green box and this blue box this keeps running for long periods of time usually in a containerized uh, application this keeps running and then there are some broken links that is exactly where liveness probe comes into play what it does is it will repair the broken states but how by restarting the container this is what exactly we, we need and if you see this it says as your container instances support liveness probe okay and this matches our use case okay so this looks correct but what is a readiness probe suppose this container application receives large loads between 8 am to 12, 10 am okay so we will use the readiness probe so that no other containers or applications can access this piece basically a good use case will be a scenario where traffic needs to be handled so that your containers are ready to handle that load coming from the traffic so a is our answer let's move forward let's look at question 12 so this is the question see i will not read into much of the details the solution is uh, sorry the question is very simple they have some application they have some front end back end blah 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 what is required is they want to uh, monitor they want to store that telemetry data and monitor it and this is the requirement they want to trigger alerts they want to store the database metrics in a central location what should we use okay so the thumb rule clearly says use log analytics because it is used to analyze logs whether it may be you, you see here web apps front end or sql database back end any applications logs will be there in log analytics and you can use it to see if the baseline is exceeded okay and you can also use it to fire ad hoc queries to identify the baselines now what the hell is application insights see application insights is a feature of azure monitor it is an extensible it is a application performance management uh, tool 
if your use case is to detect performance anomalies then you can use it or you want to diagnose issues then you can use it our question here is currently not talking about performance directly it is talking about various different metrics it can be performance metrics or it can be some other metrics as well like storage occupancy ram occupancy so let's look at intelligent insights you see this it can only monitor database performance but we need to monitor web apps front end also along with database so b is wrong a see this is primarily used for telemetry real time integration we don't have a real time use case here this you can do it later also there is no real time it wants to store the telemetry data but there is nothing that it has to immediately do something the event hub a good use case is you are having a sensor suppose a valve sensor on a pipeline there is a valve and there is a sensor and it says there is a leakage that data comes to event hubs and you can do some real time analysis and alerts here you don't have that sort of a real time use case so this is the final answer this channel is totally dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications please visit through the playlist on this channel and there are n number of videos on different cloud certifications please subscribe to my channel this brings us to the end of part 3 stay tuned for other parts as well as videos on other cloud certifications